Hello everyone. I hope you all are fit and fine. Students, I hope you have seen previous videos of chapter 5 weather and climate in which we have discussed about weather and climate and factors affecting climate. First, I am going to take feedback of the topics you have already learnt. Tell me definition of the word coast, extreme climate. Name the factors that determine the climate of a place. What type of climate does coastal areas have? Name the winds that bring rainfall in India. Students, I hope you people are able to answer these questions. Today, I am going to discuss about heat zones of the earth that are torrid zone, frigid zone and temperate zone. Here, I am going to discuss terms that you will read in the chapter today. First is Tropic of Cancer, an imaginary line running across 23 and half degree north. Second, Tropic of Capricorn, an imaginary line running across 23 and half degree south. Arctic Circle, an imaginary line running across 66 and half degree north. Antarctic Circle, an imaginary line running across 66 and half degree south. Northern Hemisphere, part of the earth that lies to the north of the equator. Southern Hemisphere, part of the earth that lies to the south of the equator. Moderate climate, climate that is neither too hot nor too cold. Open your social studies book at page number 32. You all have to mark important terms while reading the chapter. Heat zones. The earth is divided into three heat zones on the basis of the heat it receives. The earth is divided into three heat zones that are Torrid zone, temperate zone and frigid zone. According to the heat that it receives. Students, I am going to discuss all the heat zones on the basis of these three points that are location, climate and sun rays. Torrid zone. The region between the Tropic of Cancer 23 and half degree north and Tropic of Capricorn 23 and half degree south receives the direct rays of the sun. The climate in this zone is very hot and humid throughout the year. This zone is also called the torrid zone or the tropical zone. The torrid zone or the tropical zone lies between the Tropic of Cancer and imaginary line running across 23 and half degree north and the Tropic of Capricorn and imaginary line running across 23 and half degree south. This region receives direct rays of the sun and this is the reason climate here is hot and humid throughout the year. 
students here you all can see torrid zone on the world map the area on both sides of the equator between tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn students here you all can see few countries which lie in torrid zone like ecuador brazil sudan democratic republic of congo and sri lanka these are the countries which lie in torrid zone and have hot and humid climate frigid zone the regions between the arctic circle 66 and 1/2 degree north and the north pole 90 degree north in the northern hemisphere and antarctic circle 66 and 1/2 degree south and the south pole 90 degree south in the southern hemisphere are far away from the equator students there are two parts of the frigid zone the north frigid zone and the south frigid zone in northern hemisphere part of the earth that lies above the equator we have north frigid zone the area between arctic circle and imaginary line running across 66 and 1/2 degree north and the north pole fixed end of the earth's axis that is at 90 degree north and in southern hemisphere part of the earth that lies below the equator we have south frigid zone the area between antarctic circle and imaginary line running across 66 and 1/2 degree south and south pole fixed end of the earth's axis at 90 degree south they receive only the slanting rays of the sun for most part of the year these regions are covered with snow they remain very cold throughout the year these regions are called frigid zone in other words frigid zones are located far away from the equator so this region receives slanting rays of the sun both the frigid zones north frigid zone and south frigid zone have very cold climate and remain covered with snow all over the year here you all can see the world map and countries lying in north frigid zone are northern canada greenland and northern russia and in south frigid zone there is only one continent that is antarctica temperate zone the region lies between the torrid zone and the frigid zone in both the northern and the southern hemispheres temperate zone is also divided into two parts north temperate zone and south temperate zone
in northern hemisphere we have north temperate zone the area between the tropic of cancer 23 and half degree north and the arctic circle 66 and half degree north in southern hemisphere we have south temperate zone the area between the tropic of capricorn 23 and half degree south and the antarctic circle 66 and half degree south the climate here is moderate it is neither too hot nor too cold this region is called the temperate zone both the north temperate zone and the south temperate zone have moderate type of climate that is neither too hot nor too cold students here you all can see world map and some countries located in north temperate zone are united states of america afghanistan china and japan and few countries located in south temperate zone are argentina south africa southern part of australia and new zealand from this it is clear that the temperature decreases when we move away from the equator in other words it is clear that the places near the equator generally have hot climate and places away from the equator have cold climate as we move away from the equator along with the climate the lifestyle of the people also changes the food they eat the house they live in the clothes they wear and their occupation changes in other words climate has a great effect on the life of the people living at a certain place their food dresses people wear and the houses are influenced by the climate so students today we have discussed about heat zones of the earth that are torrid zone frigid zone and temperate zone it is your homework to read heat zones and solve exercises a b and c on book thank you